All right, guys. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is data in general, right? So what is data really? Whether it be related to Airbnb or your Facebook with all the information that they're taking from you and collecting all of your data, what is data really, right? Uh, and I actually pulled up the definition of it because I think it's the easiest way to explain data. So data is facts collected together for analysis, right? So facts, things that are true. So in this case, you know, it has uh, a home has two bedrooms. That is a fact. It is certain. We know we can prove it. So it has two bedrooms. It is a fact, right? Now that piece of information and all of the other pieces of information that are relevant are then brought together, right? So data is just a bunch of facts all collected into a spreadsheet, right? And then you analyze it. And so data really isn't some confusing uh, big Silicon Valley thing, or at least not to me, right? Or at least the way that we're going to be using data in this reference, all we are doing is using a sheet that has co a, a collection of all of the facts about Airbnbs and we are analyzing it, right? And when we analyze it, what we're doing is we're just looking for the most relevant information to what we're trying to figure out. And the most relevant information to what we're trying to figure out at this point in time is what the annual revenue is for each individual listing. And then from there, we kind of bring it together to, to give ourselves an answer, right? So um, I hope that makes data sound seem a little bit less complex or like something that is just out there that, that like I said, these Silicon Valley companies are, are using against us. It, it, it's not. It's just a bunch of facts brought together and people are analyzing it to try and make sense of things. And the way we're analyzing it is to figure out how much a, a home can make as a Airbnb, as a full-time Airbnb, right? Um, so I just want to walk through a quick example here of what data looks like when you're originally looking at it, right? So this is when the data first comes through and this is what I see. This is not what you will see, but um, you can technically see, see this, okay? So you have all of these, this is a sheet, right? And at the top we have our columns and on the, the each column is a different title, like a set of information. It's different data set, right? So you have the listing title here, the property title. Uh, some of these will not be relevant in the information that we're getting, but here's the, the lat and the long. We have the state, the city. So you have all these different pieces of data information, and then each row is the uh, uh, an Airbnb listing, right? So you can see this is an Airbnb listing, and each piece here is a different fact of that Airbnb listing that has been brought together for us to analyze it. And if you scroll through this all, you can see like, oh, wow, there's a lot of listings, a lot of information you go across. It kind of can be pretty daunting and, and uh, terrifying to look at this and try to make sense of that, right? But that's the idea. That's what we're trying to do here. So um, what ends up happening, right, is you, you, you take all this information, but really what we end up doing is we just try to, we organize it into only the information that is relevant for us. Okay, so over here, we're looking at everything that exists, but really we don't need everything that exists. We only need some of that information that exists. And some of that information that's most important is where are these listings located, right? So out of all the data that we have collected, where are those listings located? That's one of the most important things. How big are the units themselves, right? One bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, one bath, things like that. And then what's the average annual revenue? So out of all of those pieces of all of those facts that have been brought together for us, there's only really three things that we're analyzing here to make our first step, right? So, um, Data is not some complex thing when you know what you're looking for. And what I'm going to teach you here is to know what to look for. So I hope that helps you understand what data is. Okay, let's move on to the next video.